It is our third day in Buenos Aires, and it's another beautiful day. It is also a Saturday, which means that there are weekend markets going on. We're currently staying in the neighborhood, or as they would say in Spanish, barrio of Recoleta, and there's supposed to be a pretty cool weekend market going on here, so that's where we're heading first. Unfortunately, it's supposed to rain the next couple of days. We're going to try to be out in the sunshine as much as possible because it is absolutely beautiful here. The weather has been like nothing but perfect since we landed. As you can see, we are not bringing the stabilizer today. It's just like really big and attracts a lot of attention. Like people constantly stare at me as I'm walking down the street with it. And today we're going to new neighborhoods that we're not super f familiar with. Before we left, I was researching things to do, and I saw this video of this guy getting robbed at gunpoint for his backpack, which had all of his camera gear in it. So that's like put me a little on edge as we've been walking around the streets of Buenos Aires. With that said, I know that any big city can be dangerous, but I saw a video specifically about this place. We found the market, and now it's time to do some shopping. I didn't say anything about shopping, <laughs> we are just looking. We are really enjoying this market so far. It's pretty huge and overwhelming, but really nice because in every other part of the world when we've gone to a market, they're just on top of you the whole time trying to get you to buy stuff. And here they don't even really care. So it's fun to just browse and not worrying about saying no a million times. It is about 100 degrees out here, so I'm sweating like crazy. So we bought fresh squeezed orange juice and a pastelerito, which I think, pastelito, <laughs> I think it's just fried bread with sugar on it. The orange juice is delicious. Although, not quite as cheap as the orange juice that we were drinking in Marrakesh. I missed 30 cents a cup orange juice. Mm. It has something on the inside. I don't know what it is yet. Some kind of like fruit jelly stuff. It's delicious. We have a long walk over to Puerto Puerto Muerte. Puerto. We're going to Puerto Madero. Puerto Madero. <laughs> but we have some fun stops along the way. We're gonna go to the Cologne Theater. Theatre Cologne. We're really bad at this We're Spanish stuck. stuff. We'll read the sign when we get there. We also got a recommendation from another one of our viewers that told us the best churipan, the sandwiches that we were trying to find yesterday, is at a restaurant that's really close. Close. We're not even good at English. <laughs> this really close to Puerto Madero. So we're going to stop there to get some lunch. The theater looked really cool from the outside, but it's $30 for us to go inside. And if you've been following us for any amount of time, you know that that's not really our thing. Please don't get mad. We're going to get lunch instead. We're getting to this crucial part in our journey that we come to occasionally, where we haven't had lunch yet. Kara's starting to get really hangry, and we have to find somewhere quick before this goes downhill. True. Unfortunately, we still have like a 30 minute walk to the restaurant where we're supposed to be getting the cherry pond. Then fast. Oh, 
Victory one. Kara couldn't wait on the camera to take her first bite. I'm so happy we found this place. Thank you so much to the nice person who recommended it to us. It is just what I needed. We put the sauce on it that we saw everybody else putting on it. We don't know what it is. Yeah, I really don't know what it is, but I don't even care. And the bun, the bun is good too. I think she would have taken anything at this point. Mm -hmm. One of the questions we get asked most often is what is your favorite food that you've eaten while you were abroad? I don't know that this is the top of the list because I just like can't process how many good foods we've had, but this will definitely be on the list of favorite foods that we've had while traveling. It's bringing me back to Hong Kong when we were sitting on the side of the road and I was having my fork, my first pork bun experience and like freaking out. That's You're comparing this, this to me. the pork bun? Next time we come back to Hong Kong, I'm booking a hotel right here. <laughs> So I can come down and eat this for lunch and dinner every day. It tastes like a hundred times better than it looks. They're way better than they look. I like big buns and I cannot lie. It's like so good. It's the sausage is delicious. Whatever the red sauce I put on mine is is so it's just perfect. I don't think I've ever gone from being so hungry to so full so quickly like five minutes ago i thought i was gonna pass out from hunger and now i feel like i'm gonna pass out from being full <laughs> it's a huge sausage and so worth the trek so if you're in buenos aires come to nuestro padilla i'll link it below i don't know how to say it it's right next to this big market and it is so good we got some food in our bellies we are so heading happy. to puerto madero now I will say we've eaten a lot of good food so far in Buenos Aires, but I don't think we've had anything healthy. It's either been empanadas, meat, or ice cream. We had orange juice today. Tired? Yeah. Home is a long way away. How far? An hour and five minutes. You take a taxi in 17 or public transport says it takes 52 minutes. What do you want to do? How much is a taxi? I don't know. Today we've been on our feet for six hours and now we have an hour walk back to our apartment. But it's okay because like we said this morning, we wanted to get out and about in the sunshine today and see as much as we could since it's supposed to rain for the next two days. Had a good time in Puerto Madero, but I think today ended up being more about the journey here than the actual destination. It's been a good day to go out, see the city, and get outside of our little neighborhood or barrio of Recoleta. Yeah, it's nice. super cozy couch but really it's made out of concrete not squishy at all this is the setup we've been using to get the super smooth follow shots recently this big truck follows us around with that camera right there 
We won't be setting this camera down too often. 